what is up you guys welcome back to the channel sorry 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 i know it's been about a week but i don't know what's been going on bro i don't know if it's fatigue with making videos or fatigue of the game i'm i just wasn't in the mood of you know, i just couldn't look at my game at all every time i touch my controller i will put it back down and i would not you know prepare myself to make a video or anything like that because i do have to you know go through my game and stuff to get the clips and all of that and every time i touch my controller i would just end up putting it back down i don't know if it's this quarantine stuff with this virus and all that i got over my sickness about a week ago i didn't have the coronavirus or anything like that but i was sick i got over that a few days ago so that's not an excuse but i was just not in the mood of making videos but here i am today and i'm going to be showing you guys how to grind on low overall wing players and bigs and the first build is this two-way pass versus guard which i'm showing you guys the attributes of the first thing i did do he's a 68 now so i've been actually had this video this build for a while and the first thing i did was up his rebound in a little bit and his steal so i can get those pokes steal that i always take that i always talk about so make sure you do that and then you know just go into my career and try to play the best you can now make sure you change that camera to my career default i just feel like the game just is it's better that way i don't like playing on 2k low when i'm playing the micro until i play on 2k lows when i'm playing actual the actual game like any any game mode that has 5v5 like pro am or rec so that's the only time i use that but i got a poke still right there and i'm driving and so what i'm gonna do to score and get you know my defensive badge points and play making bad points with this person is just use his speed when i play with guards i just use their speed to run around people and get to the hole because they can't dribble if you're dribbling with a low overall you're not gonna put anything any combination together to get past your guy so you just use your speed to run around them and you will get you will make plays and stuff so y'all attempting the alley-oop right there because alley-oops give you a much more uh play making bad progress but they don't they're not very successful when you don't have anything on your pass accuracy because a lot of guys always come in and say hey throw alley-oops off the pick and roll throw alley-oops whenever you see people open but my guy never converts them so i would rather just you know throw the wide open pad to make sure i get the assist every time so i do get some bad progress on my playmaking instead of just throwing an alley and throwing a turnover so yeah that's the reason why i don't throw alley right there because i will throw them out of bounds or just throw them around somebody but yeah man just keep I, but to, sc to score i just keep driving and trying to run past my guy i got stuffed up right there but i, I ended up getting a steal and hitting bam out of bio just keep trying to get those steal where i'm just taking an angle sometimes like they pick it right back up with the animations this year a lot of the time they do pick those steals right back up the, the offense regain the possession but you just keep trying for it keep trying to get it once again running around people using his speed and just getting to the hole <laughs> it's so easy doing that bro like you don't even have to put the ball on the like put any type of combination together just put the ball on the floor run towards the hole press square and you'll get a lay this guy doesn't play that many minutes so i'm not gonna have that that much progress at the end of this game or that many stats i'm gonna i think i'm gonna have about uh this is probably gonna be it like about wow, 10 points three rebounds four assists not that much but uh it's something it's something to start with this is all about you know finding your ways to score for when you do build up your attributes and you do start getting more badges because once you get a little bit like in the 80s and stuff my career becomes so much easier you're been you're going to be able to score every time you want to pretty much so if i showed you guys which i am going to do in probably my next video i'm going to show you guys a game with my fully maxed out of uh, my career game my fully maxed out uh glass going a lot down to show you how everything is so easy and slow down once you get a 99 and once you get in those high overalls but here I am using my interior force he's a 67 I just upgraded his standing dunk now the game that you're about to see after I do this upgrade is actually the game before I upgraded it so he's not gonna be dunking in the game that you're about to see but the game after that you're gonna see that having a higher standing dunk is gonna get you a lot of more uh dunk animation because he doesn't get that many dunk animations right now because of his attribute i'm showing you guys his max attribute show you what kind of build he kind of is and i'm going to go show you what his badges are so you can get an idea of what this build is you want me to make a build a, a build video on this build i will do that because i think this is a very good build if you do want to be a little bit bigger than the glass can lock down and you know score with your back to the basket which my glass can lock down can do sometimes but he can't really do it on guys his size because i'm so small this is a bigger build he is about seven about seven foot so if you guys want me to do a build video on this guy i will do that but 
Finny Grady move on to the gameplay. What I was talking about though, you know, standing dunk, he doesn't really dunk without uh without much attribute on it. So in this game, he's gonna be doing mostly layups, but what you want to do when you're playing with bigs to get your uh, attribute is just force yourself into good position down low. Do a drop step and just go up. Every day, every time you have someone who's small, you just try to take them to the hole. And for the get smaller guys on you now, I'm playing against the Pelicans right now. They play Zion at center, so I had a small matchup right here anyway. But you're going to see later in this game and more in the next game that when I... Uh, get a rebound in the and I run in the transition I run towards the smallest guy I, I, I can find and every time when you pass out of the you know the uh, the rebounds get it back unless you your guy scores unless you the guy you pass the score so you can get a sit but you're gonna see when I uh I get rebounds I end up passing it to someone or something I'm gonna ask for the ball right back I always get the ball right back man because it is your career it's called my career man you were trying to get badges, letting your point guard run run with the ball. It's not going to help you at all. It's not going to get you because he's not going to pass you, especially not Trey Young. Trey Young is going to shoot the ball whenever he feels like it. Like he did a spin move and shot it. Luckily he made it, and I got an assist. But Trey Young is going to always shoot the ball, bro, or whatever point guard you play with. So make sure you get the ball from them, and you just you do you, bro, because once you score a few times. They're gonna start double teaming and they're go open assist. And if you, you know, like I said, get the ball, you're gonna end up getting a smaller matchup. Bully him with the drop step, go up and get yourself an easy layup, man. I really hate that he's landing up right now though, because that can be a lot more finishing uh bad progress because you get a lot when you dunk the ball, man. Well, and it was so crazy when I made my glass can in lockdown. I don't know if it was because he's short. But I remember him being a low overall, just just one stop dunking the ball. Like he was, he was always dunking the ball. I can't get this guy to dunk for nothing in the world. But when my glass and lockdown was low overall, he always dunked the ball, man. And I was mainly focused on getting uh, shooting badges with him with my glass and lockdown. I wasn't really studying getting uh, finishing badges because I knew they would come easy anyway. But he just was always dunking. They was always leaving him open for dunks. Every time I did the pick and roll. He was open. Like if I do the pick and roll with this guy, it doesn't really work that well. Like I always gotta just you know spam the drop step with him instead of uh, doing the pick and roll because when I try to screen the uh, the guard and roll to the basket, both guys end up crashing on me and stuff like that. So I just try to get the rebound when I'm on the uh, transition and run towards the smaller guy, get the smaller guys on me. When that doesn't work, I just you know pass it back to somebody else, make them pass it back to me, and I will post them up just get them as deep in post position as you can hit the drop step and just lay it up if you miss this guy's pretty big so most nine times out of ten he gets the offense rebound if you miss one time and off of the offense rebound you can go back up and make it so don't worry about missing down there and plus having a low field goal percentage yeah, that doesn't hurt you at all anyway man we ain't trying to win the field goal title we're trying to get badges we're trying to get badge progress for attributes we're trying to get attributes bro we're trying to get a lot of vc so don't worry about missing, bro. Don't worry about missing at all. Just keep on bullying. See, I got a little guy down there now, so you don't got to worry about missing, but they're going to double team and pass. Every time they get a doubling, you get the dishing. They double, you dish. They don't double, you punish. And you, and you get the bully in them, bro. So that's just how it goes, man. And after this, uh, I'm going to show you another game of this guy, and I'm going to show you a little bit more of the perimeter play. So I'm going to make a, a build specifically for this, this video purposes so what i'm gonna be making is a scratch for but i'm gonna get into that later when i get to you know to that part of the video because i do have a game left with this guy i think i ended this game with uh about i'm gonna show you guys and actually in a second i had 30 uh no 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 43 points 19 rebounds and 11 assists so i didn't want to show you keep on showing you guys that repetitive you know me just continuously backing people down and doing the drop stuff so i kind of you know slowed it down and i'm gonna just show you another example of another game so you guys can see exactly how i was scoring with what you know with the more uh attribute points on dunk i think i actually did get a lot more dunks in this next game that's coming up but as you guys can see that was my uh badge progress i didn't get a badge there but i got a bunch of uh you know progress on finishing the playback and got a good good much on defense so yeah pretty good game man that's a pretty good game with, with this guy and i always play on pro man like I said in my last 60 overall ground video, there's really no incentive to playing on uh on Hall of Fame. 
playing on Hall of Fame doesn't really do do much. I think you get like a. It's, I don't even know if it's a times two VC multiplier. I think it's like one point five. So one point five is not that much if you're gonna be playing on Hall of Fame. You know, when you put Hall of Fame, you're not gonna get as many uh as much stats and stuff. So it's not worth it at all, bro. Make sure you play on pro. And if you're not starting, like if you're playing with a big you just made, play on a 12 minute quarter so you can actually get some time in the game. I don't know if I'm playing on 12 minutes right here. I'm probably playing on like nine or 10 since he, he this is his second year. I didn't do the thousand dollar VC contract thing with him because I was actually experimenting seeing would they let me get a thousand VC contract if I just go to the playoffs and lose out, but it didn't allow me to. I got the 750 with him, so I don't have the thousand with him. But uh, play on pro. 12 minute quarter, man. That's all you need to do. But here, backing down the little guy, Chris Paul, dunk. And that's going to get you a lot of bad progress, man, when you get those dunks. I wish I could just know, you know, get the dunk every single time. And this right here is foreshadowing what I'm going to be doing with my, uh, with the scratch form I'm going to make so you guys can see me get some shooting badges. Because the reason why I'm making the, uh, the new build, because I don't want to waste any more VC on a player I'm not going to use. Which I'm not going to use pretty much. And I'm not going to use any of these guys. But if I make a just a pure stretch four, I know it's going to start me off with a higher three ball than what these guys have. Like what my my wing player has, my two way pass first guard, and my and this guy. So I'm going to make the pure stretch four so I can show you guys some shooting stuff with the build that. So it's going to start off with like probably a, in this a three ball in the 60s. So I won't have to take wouldn't take that much VC to upgrade him up to like the mid 70s and stuff to where I can hit shots but I'm making a uh like pure green pie chart don't don't try to copy this build or anything it's not a build that anybody should be playing with on park or competitively I'm just making this just for video purposes so you guys can see how I get my shooting badges if you didn't see my other videos and how I get because I know you guys saw what I can do and how I get the shooting badges with a guard but now I'm gonna be showing you how to do it with you know somebody just plays off ball I'm gonna be playing on ball with him to do the, the little uh, the little method, but in the video after this, which I'm, I'm gonna follow up with this so you guys can see even more positions and stuff. I'm, I'm try to do because my two way passer guard was a shooting guard, which he can play two, three, and the one. But I'm gonna you know try to plug in a position for every. I mean, plug in a player for every single position. So I'm gonna do shooting guard, power forward, center everything bro so i'm gonna show you a little bit more extensive play on this guy in, the, in uh, my next video but here i'm just showing you guys his attributes and stuff showing me showing you that i'm upgrading his three balls so i can do the little the little uh corner glitch and what sucked though about this is that i didn't realize until after i watched the game that i didn't have the jump shot that i wanted to equip on i want you i wanted you guys to go find jump shot 38 because that's a very good jump shot for no quick draw but you're gonna see that I didn't have that jump shot on. I forgot to equip it. And I was shooting all twos, man. I was shooting all twos. I was not shooting threes, so I wasn't even getting the benefit of that 75 three ball that I just upgraded. But on the bright side, he was making his shots. He was making every shot he put up for some reason. So that's good news. You guys are gonna see it like after this. I was just showing you guys that this little pick and roll thing I was doing with DeAndre Jordan. This is the reason why that's the reason why I picked the Brooklyn Nets. I picked to go to the Brooklyn Nets because I know I can, you know, abuse DeAndre Jordan in the pick and roll and get a few playmaking passes if I need if need be. But here we go. R L you press L one, then you press R one, then you press the uh, icon of whatever player you want to drag over, then they'll back off and you shoot the shot. I prefer dragging the uh, uh, small forward instead of like the center or the, the guard because I feel like it works every time you, you call the small forward over. So it might take a little longer for them to get there because they're further away than the uh, the other players are. But I always try to drag the small forward over. And that's me using the little, uh, you know, just the speed thing. This is a scratch for so he's a little fast. So he can run around guys just like the uh, the wing player could. So do that with the, with, the, uh, with any build, man. Just try to abuse the speed because these uh having the physical attributes separate from the uh the attributes that you know like the shooting and the playmaking and the defense having those separate starts you off with a much higher speed than what you would start off on the older 2ks you when you had to upgrade speed and study acceleration as an actual skill attribute so that's very i, I really liked it about this 2k plus you can go do the uh the workouts and get you a plus four before you even start upgrading your other attribute 
So, and every time you upgrade your attributes, your physical attributes go up. So, that's very key to why it's easier to grind this year, man, because the separation of the physical attributes and like your skill attributes. So, very, very, very good idea on 2K's part. And that's why I like this 2K a lot. The grind is so, so much easier. I don't know what some guys be talking about sometimes about the grind being this and that, but it's so much easier this year. And if I felt like playing on other players, I would have so many maxed out players, bro. But I just don't need to play on nobody else besides my glass can lock down. If I need to, you know, switch it up sometimes, I would always have new players to bring out there with max badges and stuff. But I'm always playing on my glass can lock down. And whenever I'm on 2K, I'm on the park and on something competitive, so I never have time to even play my career. But if I did and I wanted to play on new players, I would easily have new players with, you know, max badges and max attributes because it's easy to get VC and it's easy to get everything else, man. But this is getting close to the end of the video. My next video is going to be on how to get the VC contracts I told you guys about, so stay tuned for that. I appreciate you guys for watching and sticking around. Peace.